Hey man, one bad day can change a motherfucker life. What's going on? I like to wish you guys to another one take review. This is my review of this week's episode of Gotham. Got the number, what number it was. But we got Jeremiah pretty much in his Joker stage where he he thinks he killed Jim Gordon. That's one thing. Everybody thinks Jim Gordon's dead. He got his blondes panning around. And when the scene with him out there were talking to Harvey was dope as fuck because he's a much more calm character than Jerome. Even though I like Jerome's character a bunch, it, it, they, they didn't want to keep it like the same. They didn't want to have him doing the same stuff with Jerome, acting like Jerome. He feel like he's much more smarter. Uh, you have a villain team together. You have Jim Gordon who actually got away because he, he was saved by like the Riddler and uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, what's your uh, Wow, I can't think of a fucking name right now. That's amazing. Uh, anyway, yeah, he, he, he got saved by them. So he's trying to get back. They don't want to. They want to hold him from ransom, so they can get free from the police. Which we all know it's like love triangle thing because we already know Jim and Lee still have feelings for each other. But Ed doesn't want to believe that. He thinks that she's off him. Jim fucking with his head. You have Jerome. I mean, not Jerome. Jeremiah fucking with uh, Bruce. Uh, listen, a lot of shit happened. But the biggest thing that happened in this episode. I don't give a damn what anybody say. One is the interaction between Ray Ra- Ra- Ghoul and uh, Jeremiah because Jeremiah, even though he his plan failed, he still was cool. He he didn't fucking lose. He didn't lose his shit. But him teaming up with Race is like it's like the when you think about the Joker and Ray Ghoul teaming up together. It's kind of like ah I don't know. I, that that doesn't seem like something Race would do because Race is a much more. Uh, we know what happened the last time Race did team up with uh, uh, the Joker. That's where you get death in the family. You guys haven't read that storyline. Uh, but yeah, to me, the biggest thing was when when Jeremiah shot, we get the, we get this awesome moment between Selena and Bruce. Uh, after Bruce has saved Alfred, you know, well, not, well, not necessarily say Alfred, but he technically, technically did. But you get that, but then you get this moment between those two. They finally embrace it, and, and she, Selena's always telling Bruce, I will always be there. And then you get Jerome, I mean, Jeremiah, I keep calling him Jerome. Jeremiah coming in uh, and shoots her in the stomach, which reminds me of a scene, because they, they had some killing joke elements. Well, when when Bruce was in the the, the like the playhouse or whatever, he's seeing Alfred uh, uh, going crazy. That's kind of like when Jim Gordon saw the pictures of his daughter, uh, uh, Barbara Gordon, in the playhouse, and also when he shoots her in like the I guess like the pelvic pelvis area. I don't you know in that area it's kind of the same. It's the exact same way. So they could they took like elements from different stories and, and put it together in this. And I really like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought that was a big element. And then Alfred's beating the shit out of him. But I wonder how will Jeremiah get away? Uh, what's the fate of Selena? We don't, of course she doesn't die. But I don't want her to, I, I didn't get on Gotham. Everybody dies, everybody comes back alive as well though. So we don't know what the fate of that is. I really enjoyed that part. Like I said, this episode ended on a high note for me. That we got two episodes left in this season, so I'm really looking forward to what they might do in the near future. You guys let me know if you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you with you motherfuckers later.